the opposition parties in the country have been accusing the governors of acting like roadblocks for governance in the non bjp ruled states in tamil nadu the mk stalin led dravida munetta kalagam and its alliance partners including the left allege that the governor rn ravi is violating constitutional mandates and speaking against federalism considering the inordinate delay in providing assent to the bills the state assembly even passed a resolution urging the union government to set a time frame for providing assent to the bills in addition the public speeches of rn ravi made in favor of rss ideologies including his support for sanadana dharma continued to spark controversies news click spoke to mr k balakrishnan the state secretary of communist party of india marxist in this regard the bjp government is nominating the governor of their own party leaders and by that uh, by the by using that governors in non bjp ruled states they want to create problems and they want to have a alternative government under the leadership of governors so many governors in non non bjp ruled states are mis are behaving very rudely and they are not functioning according to the constitution the governor is nominated by the president according to the constitution they must function according to the constitution they are taking oath on the on the on the basis of the constitution but in practice they are violating all the norms and rules and regulations and also basically violating the constitutional provisions for example in tamil nadu rn ravi has been an ip ips officer was nominated as the governor of tamil nadu after some time after some months he is taking he is always creating problem to the state government not only state government he is always speaking in public media in public uh, speeches against the constitution against the secularism against the tradition of tamil people against the thirukural some days before he criticized karl marx himself as a governor he has got no business with the karl marx the ideology as as i say arun ravi is a governor he he has got no right to criticize karl marx that too marxism as uh, disintegrating india and marxism is uh, playing a negative role in development in development in india so by 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 saying this by the by, by this by these activities he want to behave he want to be an rss follower at one time he says that in the world no country is adopting the secularist principle every country is on religious country so in the world there is no secular uh, secularist country but in practice so many countries more than 80 80% of the countries are adopting the secular norms but uh, by this is kind of nuisances these kind of speeches is always making directly or indirectly is functioning as their rss cadre most of the secular parties who are functioning in tamil nadu are fighting against the uh, against the governor each and every day they are, we have to fight against him as a governor for the past uh, one year he has not given assent to the bills adopted in the uh, assembly nearly 14 uh, bills are kept uh, abeyance even the neat bill which was passed by the unanimously by the assembly was kept in uh, abeyance by, by the governor by the governor and now he has, he has said that i we have sent to the uh, president office in such a way he is behaving and against the rules and regulation against the constitution for example the online rummy prohibition bill which was adopted by the state government earlier an ordinance was promulgated governor honor r n ravi he gave, gave accent to the uh, ordinance but the ordinance after some time it was adopted uh, passed in the as a bill which was sent to the governor he has not given assent to the bill 
he kept it for some long time under some under so many months delay he returned the bill to the state government and asked the state government whether the state government has got power to you know enact such a bill so saying that comment he recommended he, he returned the bill to the assembly immediately within 24 hours our state government under the leadership of stalin immediately passed the same bill and sent to the governor even after the two after the passing of that bill he has not given the assent actually the constitution according to the constitution governor can do only three things uh, on the bills sent by the state government first is he can give assent second is he can uh, forward to the president third he can return to the state government but he is keeping the bill for abeyance for some for, for many for some months so the governor has got no right to keep the bill in abeyance for long time and he has got no right to reject it according to the constitution when the bill was second time adopted and to sent to the approval accent to the governor the governor governor must give the accent to the bill whatever the bill says this is the, the constitutional provision but he is violating all these norms so in the assembly tamil nadu chief minister has passed a resolution sent to the government that the government of india and president should formulate some norms that all the bills sent to the uh, governor should be treated in a in a span of time within a span of time that is within a span of time he must take a decision without taking decision he cannot keep it for a long time in abeyance that was that's what the bill is the main aim moreover he, he has asked the president and the government of india to advise the prime uh, governor to function according to the constitution he is always creating so many problems violating the constitution so the bill was uh, passed in the assembly after the bill was passed in the morning suddenly in the evening governor gave the assent to the online rummy prohibition bill so why the governor governor should have given the assent some four or five months earlier if he give if he gave the five months earlier many many lives would have been saved more than 50 60 people caught suicide because of the online rummy thousands of people have lost so many crore so many thousand lakhs of rupees in online rummy finally after fast passing the uh, resolution of the assembly the governor has, has given the assent to the bill k balakrishnan claimed that several non bjp ruled states including kerala bihar jharkhand and telangana are facing similar hurdles from the respective governors not only here in all other bjp non ruled bjp states the governor are creating nuisances creating problem to the uh, elected state governments this is not the way of democracy this is not uh, the state their state has got some powers but we using the governors the central government is restrict the powers of the state government this is not good for the country this is not good for the uh, democracy so the state the central government or the president should give guidance to all the governors that they must function according to the constitution but instead they are uh, they want to intervene they want to give disturbance they want to uh, make politics by the using the governor moreover the governors are functioning under the guidance of the rss and they are openly campaigning for the rss this is quite against the interest of the country this is quite anti uh, national anti national activities this kind this practice this kind of practices should not be allowed